you same same old thing, thing all over again. I've got no one time second, to get shut up. He nobody would have thought of that himself. I've I got my own way with that. that. Sorry about that, was thirsty. But, uh, what is up, guys? My himself. name is Mike Tamamo, and welcome to my YouTube That's channel. Secret to you. And most of all, welcome to, to episode 5 of my Gothic 2 playthrough. The third run, the final run, except Nobody for the hardcore run. Me. The Path of Baleah. He and really should have known better. We're gonna go to the monastery of the magicians of fire and, and join them. That's no secret. And uh, as soon as I become a fire I mage, less. I will explain to you guys why did I decide it of all three paths to make the fire magician the path of Balear. So without further ado, let's walk. To the valley, up uh, to the valley, to the monastery. Let's see if we can kill some critters along the way. Get get their loot. I do have to take care of the bandits, though. So let me first take care of those little buggers. It's not gonna be easy. And I have to make sure that my sheep will be safe. But uh, that will be no problem whatsoever. How's it going? You're not one of us, huh? I'd get out of here if I were you. Why? This wasn't a paradise before, but at least we were left in peace as long as we did our work for Sekob. But lately it's become unbearable. Bandits are everywhere, field raiders destroy the entire harvest, and the landowner is getting to be pretty brutal. Are you afraid of the landowner then? You bet. If the landowner doesn't like people's faces, he sends his mercenaries after him, and that's the last you see of them. So we prefer to keep our mouths closed. Shouldn't the mercenaries take care of the field raiders? I don't know what they're being paid for, but certainly not to help us common people. The field raider problem is left to the small farmers who rent the fields from him. How do you protect yourselves against the bandits? We don't. We run away. What else? Keep your chin up. That's not so easy if you're working for Sekob, the slave driver. Wait here. Balthazar will take care of Betsy. For now. So where are we headed then? Are you the foreman here? I'll give you one upside the head, you rascal. If you want to go ambling across my land, you'll pay me five gold coins, or you're in for a good thrashing. Your land? Are you the farmer here? You can bet on that. Why else would I make you pay me a toll? I don't mind if you go ask the others about me. <laughs> Forget it. You won't get anything from me. Then I'm afraid I'm gonna have to tan your hide. Come on and try it then. Well, in that case...
strong bugger. Don't you try that again. Sir, still got that big mouth? Don't beat me, please! I'll even go back to work, okay? Good man. How are things? Ah, a new face here on the farm. Has the old skin flint finally granted me an apprentice? I'm not an apprentice. Oh, I see. I'm not as young as I used to be, you know, and uh, I've been waiting for a replacement for years. You aren't here because the neighbors are annoyed, are you? What's the work you do here? Oh, I guard the sheep, and uh, I've been doing that for as long as I can remember. The animals are very loyal and very smart, you see. If you treat them well, they'll follow you for a lifetime. Have you seen any bandits passing through here? I certainly have. They passed along the edge of the field near Sekob's farm and entered the forest to the north. They were carrying loads of weapons. They looked like they were all set to win the war against the orcs. If my eyes didn't deceive me, they were also dragging a young woman along to the forest. I really hope they left her alone. Well, I'm just glad they stayed away from our farm. What's the trouble with your neighbors? The grass on this side of the big field is always so stunted and dry, so I mostly go to the big pastures of the other farmers. Oh, the landowner doesn't mind, but Bengar, the farmer on the high pastures, always makes a big deal out of it when I take the animals up there. He says Sekob should pay if I take his animals on to Bengar's pasture. But Sekob won't spend a measly coin for that, so I can't go up onto the plateau anymore. Maybe I should talk to Bengar. You do that for me? What will you tell him? I mean, I don't want any trouble, you hear? We'll see about that. Where can I find the high pastures in Bengar's farm? Follow this path and cross the big crossroad. If you stick to the right, you'll see a big outcropping of rock. Behind that, to the right, are the high pastures and the pass. Everything else all right? Oh, I can't complain. Thanks for asking. You're welcome, man. Please take a good care of Betsy. Well, kiddo? That's no way for a farmhand to talk to me. Just how often do I have to remind you? Are you in charge here? Uh, no, I'm only Sekup's son. But once my old man is no longer with us, then all the land you can see here will belong to me. Amazing. Is that how you always treat your field workers? Of course, they need that. Whoever doesn't toe the line here gets thrashed. That's the way it goes. So what do you do when you're not busy playing ruler of the farm? Stand guard. The filthy militiamen from the city are coming onto our land more and more often and stealing everything they can get their hands on. Only last week the bastards were here, and they took some of our sheep. If I could get my hands on one of them, I'd make short work of him. But of course. Why don't the mercenaries help you against the militia? Before they even turn up, I've already driven them off. There's this guy who demands a toll from every passerby, claiming he's the farmer. Uh, yes, I know. That's Bronco. He does whatever he wants. Not that I haven't pounded it into him a thousand times that he should finally get back to work. But? He just doesn't do it. My father's quite annoyed with me that I still haven't managed to persuade him to go back to work. Maybe I can help you. Do you mean that? Okay, listen, if you can get Bronco to go back to work, I'll pay you, shall we say, 
10 gold pieces? What do you say? No problem, but I want more money. All right. 20 gold pieces, then. I want more. 30? I want more. Maybe... 50? All right, I'll see what I can do. But hurry up about it. Hey! But you're already back at work. Hey! Sir, so, still got that big mouth? Don't beat me, please! I'll even go back to work, okay? Hello, beautiful maid. Stop trying to sweet talk me, boy. Tell me what you want. I'm busy. How's the field work coming? Look at these huge fields we have to work, and you know how we're doing. Are you looking for farm work? Maybe. In that case, you should go and see our farmer Sekob, the old slave driver. Maybe he's got something for you. Of course, you could also try Owner's Farm at the end of the long road. But beware of the mercenaries. They don't take to strangers. Say, the nasty fellow over there. That's Bronco. What about him? Is that your farmer? Ha! <laughs> is that what he told you? Sekob is our farmer. Bronco is nothing but a layabout and a good-for-nothing but strong as an ox. That's why nobody says anything when he doesn't work. The only people who could get him to work are the mercenaries. He's afraid of them. And apart from that? I'm busy. There's another of those scummy beasts. One last monster around. I think the quest is booked, you know, with uh, getting Bronco back at work. She's already completed it. Hey, you! Bronco's back at work. Really? That's terrific! Yeah, and now I want my cash. Hmm, well... Business is business, right? Indeed. Now a small challenge. Getting to the bandits.
One less monster around. Ooh. Almost two deaths. Got one HP left. No food, no nothing. Good moment to sleep during the next day. Well, towards the next day. Sorry for all the blood. What are you doing on my land? There's nothing here to steal. Clear off! Isn't there a piece of land in this blasted country that doesn't belong to anyone? Go to work. Then maybe someday you can call a piece of land your own. But until then, kindly loaf around somewhere else. Wait a minute. Listen. I don't have any work for you at the moment. Now I go. Quick death. Even those wolves are pretty darn strong. Be also very careful, there's also a shadow beast rolling around, around blah, roaming around somewhere around here. Three wolves. And since I'm here anyways, might as well. But uh... It's gonna be a bit tricky right now because it takes quite a bit longer than anticipated so far in order to get to the monastery. Um, so it could be that this is going to be the road towards the monastery. I know nothing about picking locks. But if that is the case, then I have to use the time well to prepare as much as possible so maybe in this particular episode i'm gonna be you know uh, no i don't want to go to the city of kurinus and become apprentice yet unless i'm a novice because then i can do both things along the way you know on the other hand in order to get to the fire mage i need to go into a totally different direction so Instead of this episode being the episode on the monastery, which was intentionally, intentionally intended, um, it's going to be the episode where I'm going to be an apprentice in Corinus and uh, get the quest on there, get as much gold as I possibly can to reach that 1000 so that I'll be able to check if I do or do not get the, um, how do you call it? The, uh, can pay the tribute and deliver the statuette of Enos. All by yourself out here? Tell me what you want of me, and then go away! I'm busy! 
but we'll see, you know, it all depends on how long it will take for me from this point till I am quite capable of going to the monastery, you know. Who are you? You haven't heard of me then. Herb witch, they say. Quack, they call me. But when they're in a bad way, they all suddenly remember good old Sagita and her healing herbs. What are you doing out here? I've been living here for as long as I can remember, attending to my herbs. The forest is my friend. It offers me all that I need. Can you heal me? That's what you came for, isn't it? Just let me know when there's something wrong with you. Thekla sent me to pick up a package for her. Ah, yes. I had actually expected her days ago. Here's the package. Take good care of it. Can you teach me your herbal lore? How interesting. I don't get asked that very often. So you want to be my student? Then you'll first have to prove your request is serious. At the moment, I am working on a very rare potion made from exquisite herbs and juices. If you can get me one ingredient, a very rare herb, which I don't have here, I shall train you. What ingredient is that? It's an extremely rare plant, an herb called sun aloe. You can recognize it by its intensive almond scent. I'm gonna stick to the original fact that I'm gonna join the monastery because as a novice I have to travel around Corinus anyways and before I'm setting out and talking with Commander Garand um, and well after basically I have to go to Zardas anyways so that means I have to go past Corinus so it's better than to deliver those quests etc at that specific moment the only thing that is stopping me at this moment from entering the monastery is getting the gold a thousand pieces of gold ready just to see if I deliver the statuette then I can also deliver my sheep and pay my tribute because if it can then uh, jolly a lot of XP bonus which is always good so well, we'll see, we'll see. It could be that I'm going to stick to my original plan, plan or, you know, change it a bit. But, uh, you know, the title in the video will explain it all. Um, but my apologies for the confusion that I'm causing right here. But, you know, you can't really predict these kind of things ahead of time, you know. Where can I find this ingredient? The herb I require only grows in places where it can get all the nutrients it needs. These are found in the excrements of a black troll. That's why it's so difficult for me to get the herb, you see? Let's see if I can get hold of it somewhere. Well then, good luck with your search. What wares do you have to offer? Tell me what you want. Still have to go through the bandits, so I'm pretty sure I will be able to get the gold, but still, you know, as long as I'm not 100% certain, it's gonna be tricky. Uh, field raider manibals give nothing, I think. The minecrawler manibals give uh, mana, and bloodfly stingers, if you learned how to remove its secretion, um, it will give you the capabilities of one Bloodfly Stinger can instantly regen your f HP to the fullest which is a lot of free full HP potions basically but for that you need to learn the um, removal of the secretion of a Bloodfly Stinger I do have the 1000 gold however I do want to purchase the King Sorrel but then I'm instantly poor, so I'm not going to do that. So the gold is ready. So let me take care of the bandits. So as soon as I do go to the city, I can instantly complete the bandit quest as well and join the Ring of Water. I'm not going to complete the, at least not yet, the uh, quest for... I'm Fernando, because uh, as a fire mage, 
he will give me a empty room blank which I could most definitely use to create runes and uh, since this guy is going to be circle 6 circle 6 alone has about 3 spells um, which is army of darkness breath of death and something else but I'm not 100% sure but I need all the empty room blanks that I can get until I've learned all runes of Balear. Which will be revealed in the Monastery of the Magician's Fire as soon as we get access to the library. You're in for it now. life. Gold. Okay, that's mine for starters. I think I'll take your weapon for safekeeping. Safekeeping is a well-used word. I'm gonna rip you to pieces. Baliar himself has granted me the power to be immortal. Such an idiot not using my... Mine is way better than yours, my friend. Another death. Great. Gonna, Nothing well, to be had there. If you want to do both, you know, get uh, Fernando's reward for going to the Valley of Mines and get him a bit of information. Um, Nothing to be had there. And then afterwards, you know, throw him into prison. Make sure that you keep two main factor items. Well, actually three. Um, which is one of the bandit swords which has the 
uh, letter uh -oh. Ooh, F marked in it. You most definitely need to keep the orders and the overseas ring. Um, so what I always do is, you know, I hide the ring and the orders beforehand and then, you know, give them the sword with an F marked in it. And then afterwards, after I've been to the valley, which is one of the first things that I will do, um, after being there, you know, I will get myself the room blank and then instantly throw him into prison, if you will, for dealing with bandits. But make sure that you only carry the items that you wish to give him, because if, as soon as you decided to let him go, um, he will take every evidence that you have against him. If you have the letter, the, you know, orders, delivery message with you, the ring and the sword, you will take them all. If you have one sword, if you have ten swords, you will take them all. So make sure that if you want to complete both, keep at least either the ring or the order. you double XP. Not that it really matters, you know, but uh, especially as a mage and especially with Heights of Power, Fernando gives something useful towards a mage, which is the only one that gets something useful. The normal gift that you get is a Ring of Invisibility, I think, which is, uh, you know, shit. Heal me. Let me see. Hmm. My ointment will take care of the worst of your wounds. What well, now to get back to Sekop's farm? Get my sheep and uh, go towards the monastery of the magicians of fire and become a novice. I don't think I can handle three walls at the same time. I already had issues with two, let alone three. So I'll take care of those pesky wolves later. I will also bring Thekla's package to Thekla later, once I have to come back to Onar's farm anyways to deliver a package of swamp weed. Let me quickly talk with Rosie and then we're gonna go towards the monastery. Hey, you! Everything alright with you? Well, it's so-so. My back hurts from all this hard labor. What are you doing here? I don't get visitors here all that often. Usually, it's either some cutthroats from the mountains or those horrible malicious soldiers from the city. They've been raiding our farm rather frequently lately, but you don't look like you're one of them, or are you? What are you doing here? I've been asking myself that for several years. Sekub, my husband, has fallen out with everyone in the area by now. He's in debt everywhere, and so he steals goods from Onar's stocks and sells them in town. By now, he's accumulated a fortune with his underhanded dealings, and he works our field hands until their backs break. His own people call him nothing but slave driver these days. I'm not particularly proud to call myself the wife of Sekob. Believe me, sometimes I wish the barrier were still in place. Would you like to buy something to eat? Or perhaps something for hunting in the forest? What can you offer me? What do you want? Nothing at the moment. Ok, 
keep two of those swords, one to give to Fernando and one to give to, um, unless you don't want to of course, and one to give to Martin about the uh, weapons dealer to the bandit. I of course will complete both because it's free experience and free is always good. I need to keep a goblin bone for a skeleton. I uh, don't need that. Don't need that. Barrier? Well, it's the dome that used to enclose the old Valley of Mines. Many of the farmers and workers who committed a crime back then were simply tossed in there, and they never came back. Why did the militia attack you on your farms here? Because there's nobody there to prevent them from simply plundering our farms instead of buying our goods. The king is far away, and we just have to put up with working for Onar and hoping that Onar will send help when we really need it. What does Onar's help look like? Sometimes we receive warning in advance when some militiamen are planning to pay us a visit on their own account to rob us. Then we send somebody to the old landowner to ask him for help. And then usually, it doesn't take long for the mercenaries he pays to come here and chase off the militia. But when all is said and done, the mercenaries aren't much better. Have you ever been at the barrier? No, we only heard about it. Bengar, the farmer on the high pastures, can surely tell you more about that. His farm is quite close to the pass, which leads to the Valley of Mines. How can I get to Bengar's farm? Go ask Balthazar. He's our shepherd. He sometimes leads his animals to graze on Bengar's pastures up there. He'll be able to tell you how to get there. Thanks. All right, so let's go to the monastery. I have more than a thousand pieces of gold. I have a sheep. Where, where's Betsy? Wait, what? Where's Betsy? I, are you fucking serious, hey? Where's Betsy? God damn it, now I have to reinvest 100 gold. Maybe it got spawned back at Onar's farm, it's possible, you know, um, because I normally never let the sheep wait, but since I have to go back to Onar's farm anyways, to either get Betsy or to purchase a new one, either way, might as well deliver Thekla's package. I might as well learn how to forge a sword. Hey, you! Here's the package from Sagita. Thanks a lot. So you can make yourself useful after all. Nothing's ever gonna change. Can I have some more of your stew? All right, I'll be nice then. Here, tell you. so you won't starve before my very eyes. I could have told you that before. Thanks. He really should have I'll known save that one for a rainy day. You never would have thought of that. That's not what I heard. And that's the truth. Don't say you didn't know that. I agree with you completely. Let's train one-handed. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Before I forget don't again, you didn't know that. not that I really have to learn how to make swords, so you know. Bar. Yes. Why not? Teach me how to forge a sword. It's quite simple. Get yourself a piece of raw steel and hold it in the fire until it glows. Then put it on the anvil and hammer the blade into shape. Most important, watch out that the blade doesn't get too cold. You only have a few minutes at a time to work on your weapon. 
The rest you can find out for yourself. It's merely a matter of practice. Don't tell me you didn't know that. All that matters is strength. So don't tell me that. I have eight learning points left. I'm gonna invest five into one-handed one handed weapon capability and then the remaining three I will keep for either my amulet of the searching, will of the wisp or hunting or you know anything in particular. Teach me how to fight. I can teach you to use any weapon. Where shall we start? You've become better already. Keep it up. Now let's see. Yeah. Come with me. Put away that weapon. Smart kid. So due to the fact that I got, you know, I went out of the sheep's visual. The visual. Oh, the sheep spawned back at Ona's farm. Well, at least. I don't have to repay a hundred pieces of gold, so that's good. But you know, it's a shame though. I couldn't get away with that. Tell me you didn't know that. You can't rely on anything new. Been there, done that. It's a bad business. And that's the truth. Everything you share. No idea. You tell me. Let's go, Betsy. Keep up, sleepy. I'm gonna divide this area in about two parts. The first one entering the monastery, because uh, it took a bit longer than anticipated to uh, actually get to the monastery. But, uh, you know, that's that's fine. And uh, the second part will be the whole trial and whatnot, you know. That will never change. Or second that's part really will be the trial. Problem. We'll see, you know. Depending on my gut feeling, because I don't want my videos to be too long. I want them to be accurate, but too long is not good either. Because, you know, it's going to be tricky to make people watch hours and hours of videos. Especially when the videos are one hour, two hours, three hours. My longest one currently on YouTube is about three. Um, which is Gelder and the Path of Adenos, but, um, you know, it's in one, one video, one area, which makes it very accurate, and, uh, I, but I try to avoid that, you know, I try to make small episodes as possible, but I also want to make sure that the, you know, that, not every 30 minutes I'm gonna cut an episode just for mere videos, you know, if I really wanted to get the 730 videos year mark at the end of this year, I could have easily get that by, you know, cutting those videos, hours of videos, into certain parts of 30 to 45 minutes even shorter if I wanted to, to just for me the videos upload amount, you know. But it's not about the amount of videos that I upload, it's about how many games do I beat, you know. And uh, the timestamps will surely help you guys in, you know, watching the longer videos. In the end, you know, longer videos means more cash in the future, however, to keep players people on your channel on one single video for all that time is really really hard especially if your video is about two hours long if they do however the rewards are greater than if you have a 30 minute video that's been fully watched you know but I'm um, like I said I'm not merely doing it for the views I'm not merely doing it for 
the numbers of content. I'm merely doing this for fun, you know, and as a hobby, if you will. And if one day I will be able to get a job and a living out of this, then why the hell not, you know? I would be lying if I would would say that I wouldn't be doing this directly for the money. I am not doing it directly for the money, but in the end I am indeed doing it for the money. Because in the end of the day, no matter how you get your money, you need to eat, you need to drink, you need to have a roof above your head, and you need to be able to live your life as you, as a person, wants to live it. And if it would be, you know, if it would happen, then I can guarantee you that I'm not going to be the only one that's going to be benefiting from the fact that I earn cash through YouTube. Because if I earn cash, I'm going to create tons of jobs, not as a, you know, steady income, but as a side income, where you can go to earn a bit on the side, if you will. And uh, in the meanwhile, make work and life easier for me. Because in the end of the day, I want to earn money so I can pay people to make interest outros. So I can pay people that watch my videos to make timestamps for me for one mere purpose. So that I, the YouTuber of this particular channel, can focus purely on uploading content as much as possible. While you, my community the community that I have now and the community that I will have in the future whether it's hundreds, whether it's thousands, whether it's millions it matters not. If you guys will help me I will help you and while you watch my videos and make the time footstamps for me I earn it back you know but I also will make sure that you can either boost your own channel by promoting yourself on my channel if you will or, you know, investing into smaller channels to help them get the start up, you know. Because in the end of the day, we're doing this for jobs. We need jobs as a human species. And Twitch and YouTube and all of it is another way of getting money. Welcome to the Monastery of Inos, stranger. I am Brother Pedro a humble servant of Inos and the warder of the gate to the Holy Monastery. What is it you require? Did I give you permission to address me, sir? Hmm? You interrupted me in my conversation and made me lose the topic at hand. God damn it. I want to enter the monastery. Only the servants of Inos are allowed to enter the monastery. If you want to pray to Inos, go find one of the roadside shrines. You will find the tranquility to pray there. Tell me about life in the monastery. We live in the monastery in order to serve Inos. We novices perform the work and study the scriptures when we have the opportunity. The magicians watch over us and they explore the arts of magic. What do I have to do to be accepted in the monastery? If you want to be accepted into the Brotherhood of Inos, you must learn and obey the rules of the monastery. Also, we demand the gifts to Inos from each new novice. A sheep and 1,000 gold pieces. Now that's a whole lot of gold. It is a sign that you are beginning a new life as a servant of Inos. When you are accepted, you will be forgiven all your previous transgressions. And consider, you cannot take back the decision to become a servant of Inos. What are the rules you live by? Inos is the god of truth and justice, and thus we may never lie or commit a crime. Should you transgress against a brother of the community or steal our property, you will pay a penalty for it. Inos is also the god of law and fire. As a novice, you must show obedience and respect to all magicians of fire. I see. Furthermore, it is the duty of a novice to carry out all the work in the monastery for the good of the community. If you are prepared to follow these rules and have the offering to Inos, we are willing to accept you into our monastery as a novice. I've got this statuette here. I think they're missing it in the monastery. Can I come in now? Well, 
under these truly exceptional circumstances, you are free to become a novice. I want to become a novice. Is that really what you wish to do? For you must know that there will be no turning back for you then. Yes, I want to dedicate my life to the service of Inos. Then be welcome, brother. I give to you the key to the monastery gate. As a sign of your free decision, it is up to you to open the gate and step through. You are now a novice. Wear this robe as a sign that you are now a member of this brotherhood. When you are in the monastery, go to Parlin. He'll see to your needs from now on. Will my transgressions be forgiven now? Not yet. Speak to Master Parlin. He will bless you and wash you clean of your sins. So we finally become a novice, Betsy. Let's go. I always act in the name of Inos. Welcome, you novice. I am Parlin. I am a novice. Anything's possible. It is not important who you were before. I'm now you up. are a servant of Inos. That is all that matters. Like and with the acceptance into the Brotherhood of Fire, all of your you. previous transgressions will be forgiven. May Inos rumors. bless this man who places his life in his Don't service tell me that. and wash away his sins. And now, first, you will fulfill the duties of a novice. You will work and serve again. the Brotherhood. You can give your gold to Gorax, our steward. You will find him Didn't in the winery. When you have done that, we shall speak about your work here in the Don't monastery. I'm Inos looking for the Eye of Inos. Punishment. I don't know who told you about that, That's totally obvious. but the divine artifact is not accessible to it anyone. Where is later. the Eye of Inos kept? The fewer people know That's this secret, the better it is protected. Seek for it, there, and that. you will not find it. Could it I need to talk before? to the leader of the paladins. Lord Hagen does not there, receive novices. Only we magicians are permitted so to see him. Scriptures. How can I serve the community? Like First, you will fulfill. You can give your. Why when you have I heard about this before. That's no Tell secret. me about the Eye of Inos. All right. Nothing's the Eye of Inos contains a part of the divine power of Inos. Only one chosen servant of Inos is permitted to bear the forever. amulet. It was created to protect us from the powers of Fat evil when the time long, comes. Rocky. You can't go on like this forever. How can first you can when you have his decision wasn't? It? How can I learn the art of magic? You, know what I think. you are not here to receive the gift of magic. You are Inos here to serve in us. But I can show you how to increase your magic power. That. Same old thing all over again. You should have known better. Hello. You must be the new guy. I'm Opolis. I take care of the sheep around here. He really should have known better. How long have you been in the monastery? I've been here three years. But so far I haven't studied, although I'd like to. Why not? My job is looking after the sheep, not studying the scriptures. As long as Master Pollen doesn't release me from this duty, I'm not allowed to study in the library. I couldn't care less. How shall I act here in the monastery? Never lie to a magician. Don't transgress against a brother of the community. Respect the property of the community. If you violate these rules, you have to pay a penalty to Master Pollen. Apart from that, I can only advise you to be careful around Aegon. If you don't watch out, you'll end up like Babo. You already know what I think. Is there anything you can teach me? Sure. I used to beat up people. I can show you how to strengthen your arms. But I'd like to learn something about potions, especially about magic potions. How can I help you with that? Well, if you work for Neoras, you'll certainly have an opportunity to borrow one of his recipes for a short time. If you bring it to me so that I can take a look at it, I'll train you. Who are Aegon and Babo? 
Aegon takes care of the herb garden. He's also a novice, but he acts like he was the chosen one himself. Babo came to the monastery shortly before you. At first he helped Aegon in the herb garden. But they must have had a fight, and Babo has been sweeping the courtyard ever since. Do you know what happened? Not exactly. You'll have to ask them. But Aegon's word has more weight than that of the other novices because he's the governor's nephew. You watch out who you tell that to. Nobody wants to know. I never would have. All right, so let's deliver the gold. Well, you know, the statue and the punishment. gold, if possible. That's totally obvious. That was no big deal. Can I be of assistance to you? Here, I've got the statue that the Daron was supposed to bring to the monastery. <sighs> it is truly embarrassing that such a valuable piece is brought to us by an aspiring novice. Nevertheless, this confirms your commitment to serve Enos. I'm very obliged to you, young novice. I'm looking for a place to sleep. There's an empty bed right next door. The first on the right, next to the entrance. You can sleep there. You can store your belongings in one of the unused chests. And remember, you have no business entering the sleeping chambers of the magicians. You're also not allowed to enter the library, unless you've been given permission. But I guess I'm stuck with two to sheep right now. What's your task here? My tasks are many and varied. Not only am I the steward, but I am also the treasurer. Moreover, I supervise the wine cellar, and I'm in control of the monastery's food supplies. So, if there's anything you need, you can always come to me and get it. For a modest contribution, that is. I need a few things. What do you want? Could have told you that before. I'm new here. So I see. If you still change. don't have any work, talk to Palin. He'll assign you some. Never gonna change that. What happened between you and Babo? You shouldn't believe everything again. you hear. Totally Let's obvious. get something straight. I shall go my own way. The way that Inos right foreordained wrong. for me. I won't allow anyone to stand in my it. way. And certainly not that simpleton Babo. No idea, you tell me. That's nothing new. I couldn't care less. Shouldn't we novices stick together? The rest That's of you can obvious. stick together as much as you like. But please, I used to say that don't myself. waste my time. And no one should get in my way. What are you planting here? Yeah, We're trying to grow healing you. plants that Master Neoras can use to brew well, potions. His decision wasn't. Brute potion. Hey, what do you want? Done that. What are you doing here? I have so transgressed the against the precepts of the community. Now I'm waiting for the no decision of the High time. Council, whether I may remain in the monastery. Violate the divine order. Tell me what happened. I, I took a book from the rooms of the magicians while I was sweeping, I so I could read it later. Master Highglass noticed it immediately, of course, and asked me about the book. Out of fear of being punished, I lied about it. 
But he caught me later when I was in my chamber with the book. He was really angry and informed the High Council. Now they are discussing whether I can stay. Is there any way I can help you? No. I've been delivered up to the mercy of Inos and the magicians. There have been all kinds of rumors. Hey, you! He thinks it's as easy as that. How can I serve the community? Speak to the other magicians. They will give you tasks. I will oversee your work, and when you have fulfilled your duties adequately, Do you, really you will think? receive permission to enter the library to study the word of Inos. Do you have an assignment for me? Hmm. Yes, there is indeed something Only you can do Inos for the community. Right the novices' chambers could do with a good sweeping. Take care of that. that but that will take forever. Then you'd better start right away, hadn't you? So it says in the scriptures. Nobody wants to know. Hey, you! What can I do for you, brother? Why aren't you working? I am permitted to study the teachings of Inos. I seek wisdom in his words. One day, he could choose me. And then, I shall take the test of magic and enter the circle of fire. Who are the chosen? The novices whom Inos has ordained to take the test of magic. He who passes it is accepted into the ranks of the Magicians of Fire. How can I be chosen? You have no influence on that. Inos alone chooses his novices, and the High Council announces his will. What is the test of magic? A test which is announced by the High Council. To all chosen novices, it is an assignment in which faith and cleverness are put to the test. All the chosen novices take part, but it is only possible for one of them to complete it successfully. How can I study the scriptures? You must gain access to the library. However, Master Palin will only give you the key if you have first finished your duties. I need help sweeping the novices' chambers. Sure I'll help. We novices have to stick together. One hand washes the other. I just need 50 gold pieces because I still have to pay Parlan. All right, I'll pay. Good, then I'll get started. Hey! I need help sweeping the novices' chambers. Oh dear. You just got here and you let them make you do the sweeping already? Console yourself. It was exactly the same with me when I first got here. And that's why I'm going to help you. It would be ridiculous if we couldn't handle it. So you're the new novice. Well, I assume you have already been given a task by Master Parlin. You know that everyone within the Community of Fire must carry out his duty according to the will of Enos. Some citizens of Corinus have mysteriously disappeared. Take your tribute to Gorax at the monastery at once. He will handle it further. The same is true for the investigation of the unusual earthquakes in the northeastern regions of Corinus. So far, I have not received notice that our intervention would be required. Therefore, we are not going to take any steps in this matter. Yes, but... No buts. We shall proceed as we see fit, and I hope even you are going to respect that. You gotta love Gothic and his bogginess. I must talk to the Paladins. It's urgent. And are you going to tell us why you want to talk to them? I've got an important message for them. What message would that be? An army of evil is assembling in the Valley of Mines, led by the dragons. We must stop them as long as we still can. Hmm. We shall ponder on your words, novice. When the time has come, we shall let you know what our council decided. In the meantime, you had better see to your duties as a novice. I'm looking for the Eye of Inos. Anyone who thinks he could not only find the sacred amulet, but wear it as well, is a fool. 
The amulet itself chooses its bearer. No one save the one who is destined for it will be able to wear it. I'd be willing to give it a try. The duty of a novice is to show humility, not desire. Well, we don't want to keep you from your work any longer. You may go now. Obedience is a virtue you are still going to learn, one way or another. Relax. Look, the new novice appears before the High Council. Enos be with you, son. What exactly is the task of the High Council? It is our duty to proclaim the will of Enos. Thus, we name the chosen novices who will be put to the test of magic. Even though we lead a retired life, we turn our gaze upon the events of the world, for the Church of Enos represents the highest earthly law. Ah, so you're interested in what's going on in the world. So what do you think of those dragons squatting in the Valley of Mines, with their army growing every day? I understand that you are angry, but we must first weigh your words before we take any steps. If we allow ourselves to be carried away and act rashly now, we will achieve nothing. Therefore, fulfill your tasks, and we shall discuss what is to be done. Tell me about the test of magic. It is the chance for the chosen novices to enter the guild of magicians. But only one can pass the test, and Enos alone chooses the novices for it. When's the test going to take place? As soon as we have heard the will of Enos, we inform the chosen novices and put them to the test. You dare to address me, novice? Return to your work. I've got one more question. You do not seem to want to understand. I decide when I see fit to talk to you. Who do you think you are? And now, get back to work. Reason number one. <laughs> Why the fire mages are not who they proclaim to be. We'll come back to that later in the second part, where we'll be taking the trial, which will be the perfect op opportunity to explain um, why this fire made... Hello. You're also new here, aren't you? Yes. How long have you been here? I've been here for four weeks. Have you already been given a fighting staff? Not so far. Then take this one. We novices all carry a staff as a sign of our ability to defend ourselves. Can you fight? Well, I've wielded a weapon or two. If you want, I can teach you something. However, I have a request. As I was saying, you know, there are multiple reasons why, in my opinion, the fire magicians are the path of Balear, most of which are pretty explanatory in themselves, but I will go into the further detail once I will take the trial, which will be in the second part of uh, this particular episode. What request would that be? Well, one of the paladins, Sergio, is in the monastery at the moment. If you can persuade him to go through a few exercises with me, then I'll train you. I shall see what can be done. I'm supposed to sweep the novices' chambers. You've saddled yourself with a lot of work there. You know what? I'll help you. You'll never finish that alone. But I really need a Fist of Wind spell scroll. You know, I got lucky and was allowed to read a book about it. And now, naturally, I want to try the spell. So get me the spell scroll and I'll help you. What happened between you and Aegon? Oh, we had a disagreement about how to take care of fire nettles. Aegon had watered them so much that the plants almost had root rot already. Once the roots were completely rotten, he blamed me for it. They've made me sweep the courtyard all day ever since. Why did Aegon do that? You'll have to ask him that. I think he just can't stand it when someone is better than he is. You seem to know a thing or two about plants. We had an herb garden where I learned a few tricks from my grandpa. 
I'd really prefer to work in the garden again. How's life here in the monastery? I don't mean to complain, but I never thought that it would be so strict here. If you don't stick to the rules, they punish you. Of course, a lot of novices want to study the teaching of Innos in the library, so they can be prepared if they're chosen. But I think the best preparation for the test of magic is fulfilling our own tasks. What's the deal with the chosen and that test? Talk to Brother Igaraz. He knows a lot about that. How's life here in the monastery? I don't mean to complain, but I never thought that it would be so strict here. If you don't stick to the rules, they punish you. Of course, a lot of novices want to study the teaching of Innos in the library, so they can be prepared if they're chosen. But I think the best preparation for the test of magic is fulfilling our own tasks. What's the deal with the chosen? Already had that one. Sorry about that, guys. Let me quickly get a wind fist. Do you have an assignment for me? You novices have worked hard lately, and those who work a lot shall eat a lot, too. I'm giving you a key to the larder. You'll find some mutton sausages there. Distribute them among the novices, but fairly. Once you've done that, you can come see me again. I need a few things. Thanks. About the spell scroll. Do you have a Fist of Wind spell for me? Here's the spell scroll you wanted. That's good. Then I'll help you clean the chambers. You can also get it by uh, giving the fire nettles to uh, the alchemist down below here. Let me quickly get the last guy to sweep. I need help sweeping the novices' chambers. Am I the only one helping you? No, I've already got some help. Then I'm in. That quest has been completed. I'm just gonna do as much as I possibly can, you know, before going to the second part, because the trial itself will require a bit of traveling around. So I will complete all the quests before taking the trial. one the guy with the sheep once. Alright, so let's quickly talk with the alchemist. He will uh, need a couple of fire nettles. I already got those. Hey! What? What's wrong? Why are you bothering me? Can't you see I'm in the middle of an extremely complicated experiment? I didn't mean to disturb you. You already have. Uh, well, what do you want? Have you got work for me? Yes, I need plants for my experiments. We raise plants ourselves, but we're all out of fire nettles. Uh, seven blossoms should do. Bring me those. Oh, something else. I'm missing a recipe for creating magic potions. If you find it, I would be very grateful. Don't give him the recipe yet. First give it to the uh, sheep guy. Patros or whatever his name was. I've got some fire nettles for you. Excellent. I can work with that. Take this Fist of Wind spell scroll for your help. Can I learn from you? I do not instruct novices. If someday you are accepted into the Circle of Fire, then I can show you how to create powerful potions. Could you brew me a potion? For a novice, you are certainly impertinent. Go about your duties. You can buy everything you need from Gorax. 
No, I can't. I can't get permanent potions, for example. Alright, oh, let's uh, distribute the muttons. We're nearly done with the first part, guys. Nearly. Enos be with you. I've never seen you before. You are new around here. Yes, I only just joined. In that case, I hope you get settled here fast. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Would you like a sausage? Ah, delicious that. Thank you so much, brother. What room is this? This is where they keep the holy relics of the monastery. What relics? Here rests the Hammer of Inos, along with the Shield of Fire. These are the most important relics of Church of Inos, outside the capital of the realm. Is the Eye of Inos kept here too? Of course not! What a strange idea! Nobody knows where that divine artifact is to be found. In the lower vault spot. What are you doing here? I am the guardian of the sacred artifacts. Don't you ever sleep? What an unusual notion. Of course I don't ever sleep. Enos himself grants me the power which allows me to forego sleep altogether. For how else could I fulfill the sacred duties of guardianship? Do you really never sleep? No. If a guardian falls asleep, he has failed. But I shall not fail, for Enos gives me the strength and endurance and I shall never tire. Tell me about the shield. The shield of fire was born by Dominique in the battle on the Southern Isles. But the power of the shield is never to be wielded again. Therefore, we have nailed it to the wall. Tell me about the hammer. This is the sacred hammer of Inos. With this hammer, Saint Robar slew the stone sentinel. The Holy Scriptures say that the Stone Sentinel was invulnerable. He stood in battle like a tower, and the weapons of his enemies were smashed on his skin of stone. With the name of Inos on his lips, Robar hurled himself at the monster and crushed it with one mighty blow of his hammer. Which is uh, the hammer that you need in order to fulfill Serpentus' trial, which is another reason why the fire magician is not actually the path of Enos in my opinion because Enos forbids stealing in the first place so how could they get it as a trial well you have to ask and undergo the trial because it's, it's one of those trials that is not connected to the path of Enos which is uh, a sheep stock let me let, let me save and uh, see if I can kill the sheep because I can't deliver it to the shepherd. It was bugged, you know, and I uh, couldn't deliver it. So the sheep were was rather to be really useless. But I will go into more detail about the path of Belia in a bit. I've got this mutton sausage here. Oh man, fantastic. Finally another delicious mutton sausage. I've got the recipe you wanted. Good. Then let me read it. Um, um yes, uh, I see. Well, well, um... Good. Thanks a lot. If you want, you can train with me. Now I'm going to cheat a bit, um, because I thought he would give the recipe back. So let me get into his mind a bit. I accidentally pressed F9. Okay. 
Oh. Drolololol. <laughs> I still had it. <laughs> About the novices' chambers. You actually managed to find four novices to help you. I think they can now return to their daily work. Well done, novice. You have accomplished the task I set you. I'm busy distributing sausages. Thanks. Hopefully that won't be the last sausage I get around here. How about a delicious mutton sausage? I wouldn't say no to that. Thanks. That's just what I needed. Would you like a sausage? Sure, give it here. A sausage like this is not to be sneezed at. Here, have a sausage. Oh, mutton sausage is great. They taste the best. Come on, give me another sausage. Then I won't have enough left for the others. You have one sausage too many anyway, namely the one for you. And what's a sausage among friends? Come on, I'll give you a fire arrow spell scroll for it. No, I won't do that. Man, you're one of those people who are very particular about everything, huh? If you get orders, you must follow them. Especially if you want to join that specific group. God damn it. Here, I've got a mutton sausage for you. Sheep sausage, sheep cheese, sheep milk. It's getting so I can't stand the sight of it. So, do you want the sausage or not? Oh, give it here already. Would you like a sausage? Sure, give it here. A sausage like this is not to be sneezed at. How about a delicious mutton sausage? I wouldn't say no to that. Thanks. That's just what I needed. You're very welcome. A man has to eat. Hey, you! Here, have a sausage, brother. Good of you to think of me. Usually, I am forgotten. You could let me have another sausage. Forget it. I won't have enough then. Hey, one sausage. Nobody will notice that. You'll get something for it. I know a place where some fire nettles grow. If you take them to Neeras, he'll surely give you the key to the library. What do you say? No, thanks. Already delivered the fire nettles. No, forget it. You want to get in with Gorax, huh? It's always the same with the new novices. Of course, I don't want to sweep chambers out the rest of my life. So, I have to follow orders. Mm. Let, let me sleep till morning, make it a bit easier. Wait a minute. How about a delicious mutton sausage? I wouldn't say no to that. Thanks. That's just what I needed. Hey! Inos be with you. What can I do for you? What are you doing here? I am praying to Inos that he strengthen my arm and my will. Thus I am armed against all dangers, and shall destroy all his enemies in order to do him honor. What enemies? 
all those who oppose the will of Enos, whether they be human-born or summoned creature. Can you go through a few exercises with Babo? Why doesn't he ask me himself? I think he's shy. I see. Good. If it means so much to him, I shall train with him every morning for two hours. We begin at five o'clock. Tell him that. Why aren't you with the other paladins? It may seem unusual that I am here. However, we paladins also serve the magicians, for they preach the will of Enos. We paladins are warriors in the name of Enos. His will is our law. At the moment, I am waiting for new orders from the magicians. And do you already have new orders? Until then, I still have time to find strength in prayer. May Enos illuminate your path. Hey! What's your job here? I prepare the paladins for their fight against evil. What is evil? Evil is everywhere. It is the power of Biliar, the eternal adversary of Enos. It is the all-encompassing blackness which seems to blot out the light of Enos forever. Beliar is the lord of darkness, of hate, and of destruction. Only those among us in whose hearts burns the holy fire of Enos will bear the radiant light of Enos into the world and banish the darkness. But there are only magicians and novices living in the monastery. That is correct, in contrast to our community which honors the word of Enos. The paladins honor the great deeds of our lord above all else. We are the representatives of Enos, but the paladins are his warriors, who go into battle in his name and increase his glory. Is there anything I can do for you, master? For me? No. I do not require your help. Pray rather for the well-being of the warriors of Enos, who have gone to the Valley of Mines. Is there anything you can teach me? I am an expert in the magic of ice and the magic of thunder. I can teach you their power. However, I only instruct magicians. Which is another reason why the magicians of fire are not the ones they proclaim to be, goddammit. Because why would the servant of Enos use lightning Baliar magic or ice Adonis magic because the circles of magic are far and wide. Where do you think Zardus at first come from? Hmm? Zardus used to be just like all of these buggers a servant, servant of Enos but he decided to go black magic just like this guy decided to go with, um, with, you know, lightning and ice, which is Baliar, and, uh, you know, Adonis, one of the guys in here, which is well versed in the arts of summoning, which is Baliar, Pyrocar, you know, can learn you, uh, Army of Darkness, etc., which means that he knows those spells, which all indicates, kind of, you know, that the fire magicians are not really who they proclaim to be, but I will come back into that in the next part in higher detail in, you know, all in all. You have prayed for my brethren. I want to thank you for that. Tell me what I can do for you. Let me share your fighting experience. When you fight, always make sure that no one can attack you from behind. No time for things like that. And do you all Until- I need access to the library. Well, I cannot grant you access. For that, you must first fulfill your tasks. But I can help you. Go to Master Iskaroth and talk to him. I have heard that he needs help, and I would go to him, but I pass this task on to you. 
May Enos illuminate your path. Only Enos decides what's right or wrong. You should have known better. Who do I miss for the mutton sausage? Hey, you! I'm busy distributing sausages. So you work for Gorax, huh? All right. Pass the sausage, then. Now, well, it's gonna be tricky to find that particular novel. Hey! Hey, you! Be bit here and then no. Uh, Same old thing. All we're almost done. The only thing that I still have to do is find can't one go on like this forever. To give the sausage to. Path of virtue is long. Rock and take care of the black wolf, which Hell is man. another omen. You know, in sort of speak. Now, which mage did I forget? Myself. How many sausages I have left? Two. So I definitely still miss one. But who did I miss? That's no secret. Would you like a sausage? Sure, give it here. A sausage like this is not to be sneezed at. I couldn't care less. All right, so let's do, like, complete the quest, and then possible. I will also complete, I totally forgot, the recipe quest. I've distributed the sausages. And you have done so fairly. Take these spell scrolls of healing and go back to your work. Do you have another assignment for me? Yes. As you know, we make an excellent wine here, and we sell it too. Orlan, the landlord of the inn, the Dead Harpy, has ordered a shipment. We've agreed to 240 gold pieces for the bottles. Bring him these bottles, but don't let him shortchange you. Very well. You should have known better. Sorry it's going to be such a long part guys, but uh, I want to get the second part fully for the trial hey, you. of the fire. About your recipe, I found it. Good. I was afraid it was lost for good. Here, take this magic potion as a sign of my gratitude. Wow. What a reward. Alright, so let's take care of the black wolf. Tell me that isn't true. Nothing's ever gonna let change. Me, let me tell my uh no, I'm gonna keep that just in case. We should have known better. I am more trained in one handed than two handed. That's just what I said. But that's because of the claw. My claw of Belial will be one-handed, while uh, his staffs will be his two-handed capabilities. Hey, you! Sergio sent me. I've taken over his task. So what is it? A dark wolf has been roaming the area recently. Track it down and kill it. May Inos watch over you always. Omen of Belial. 
It all connects, you know, to the fact that you become the fire magician and the dark wolf spawns, which is only the monastery of fire quest, which is another one of the reasons why I think personally the path of the fire mage is the path of Baliar. There are many, many more reasons, but I will summarize all of them. Most of them try to get all of them. Let me put it that way in the uh, second part. No idea. You tell me. I'm bringing the wine from the monastery. Really Excellent. That's what I've been waiting for. I've already agreed on the price with Master Gorax. I'll give you the hundred gold coin straight away. I'm staying out of it. Are you trying to pull a fast one? The price is 240 gold coins. So, Gorax warned you, did he? All right. Now maybe the two of us can do a bit of business. Look, I'll give you a hundred gold pieces for the wine. You tell Gorax that I pulled the wool over your eyes and you'll get four spell scrolls from me. What kind of spell scrolls are they? No idea. I don't know anything about that. They're from a guest who, uh... I uh, forgot him here. Yeah. That's not why hey, just give me the 240 gold coins. You don't want to do business, huh? <sighs> All right. Here's the gold. It had to happen sooner or later. All right, so let's quickly get this done and uh, be ready to go into the second part, finally. Hey, you! I've killed the wolf. Good work, novice. You are a brave man. But now return to the monastery and go about your duties. Will do, sir. Will do. Which is the last duty that I have to do, which is bringing the 240 pieces of gold to Gorax. And then we're done, basically. And ready to take the trial. Which is another reason why uh, the Fire Magician is not really the path Venus, in my opinion. But, like I said, you know, I'll explain all of it as possible in the second part. I went to see Orlan. And? Did you get the 240 gold coins? I've got the gold. Excellent. You're really useful. Take this spell scroll of healing as a reward. Now go and find yourself something else to do. That's no secret. Why haven't I heard about this? Can I have access to the library? You have obtained fire nettles for Brother Neras. You have found Brother Neras' recipe. You have vanquished the Black Wolf, which threatened the shrine. You have succeeded in finding four novices, and thus cleaned the chambers. You have distributed the food to the novices fairly, as Brother Gorax instructed you. You have sold the wine to Gorax's satisfaction. Yes, you have worked enough. Was no now idea. it is time for you to study the teachings of Inos. Speak there to Master Highglass in the library. I hereby give you he the really key. Have known better. Thanks. Those are all just rumors. Been there, done that. I talked to Sergio. He's going to train with you every morning for two hours, starting at five o'clock. Thanks. No what an honor for me. If you want. I'll also show you the secrets of combat. And there's more, believe me. 
Alright guys, I want to thank you guys for watching and uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. So, sorry for There's such quite a long me. episode, um, even though it's Could the first part, but uh, I hope to see you guys in the second part yeah, where we're going to undertake the trial of you Enos, know as well as explain me explain to you um, out there why the fire magician is the path of Balear and that. not the path of Enos. Even though I already path mentioned a couple of things, I will right. take these things along with the and second part done. of the video and uh, explain in a bit really more should have known detail, that. you know, as detailed as I possibly can. So if you guys enjoyed it, and if you do, Feel free to I'll thumbs it up it. and subscribe to my channel. And if you do subscribe, hit totally the obvious. notification bell, and uh, you will be notified yeah, whenever change. I upload, whether it's one video, two really videos, think? three videos, as much as I upload, you will be notified. Yeah, well, I and I that. can imagine that it will drive you crazy sometimes. You know what I think. But uh, as long as this isn't a real Only job, there will be no. Wrong. Possible way for me problems. to, you know, create a schedule, if you will, um, which will come all afterwards, no you know. But thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the second part, and uh, see you guys you really next time. Think?